Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the first remote access demo tutorial for controlling devices from anywhere. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be controlling my Windows computer. Yes, I know it's a Mac, but it's running Windows for the purposes of this tutorial from an Android device. So using an Android device to control a Windows computer. No matter what you're using, you can follow this. If you're gonna control it with an iOS device or another Windows computer or even a Linux computer, you can follow this. You need the same software I'm downloading on this Android just from a different link. And you can check out my website for more specific tutorials with those devices in terms of controlling a Windows computer. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually configure the Windows computer for remote access. I'm gonna to go to Google Chrome or whatever browser you have and download Type VNC. I will leave a link to that in the description. And depending on what kind of machine you have, you want a 32-bit or a 64-bit. Since this is a virtual machine, I'm actually doing a 32-bit, so I'm gonna download that. But if you don't know and it's a host machine, most likely you're a 64-bit device. Go ahead and navigate to your downloads folder and find that, you go ahead and go through the installer here. So once you click next and you accept the agreement, then the one thing you want to do is actually a custom install here and deselect the Type VNC viewer. Even if you're going to be using this for remoting to other computers or other devices, you don't want to use the Type VNC viewer. I prefer the real VNC viewer. After that point, you can just configure it with the VNC server, leave all these options checked, and from this point, we can actually install it. After you install it, it's going to ask you to set passwords. You have to set a password for remote access, otherwise it's going to be view only. So I just do the password of one, and this is perfectly secure. You'll see why later on in this video. And uh, for an administrative password, I actually do not use password protection at all. So that is it for actually configuring type VNC server. And now it should have started automatically down in your hidden icons as you can see there it is for me and now it's showing me that i have an ip of 192.168.0.106 if you're on a virtual machine by the way just as a side note you want to go into your network preferences and change the adapter from nat to bridged and allow all vms otherwise it's going to show up as some 10.0 address which isn't normal unless you have your router configured that way and you won't be able to remote access it now that that's configured we're going to go over to the android device or whatever device you're using to connect to your windows computer and download a piece of software called real vnc viewer so on google play once you open it up you have no connections just hit the plus button in the bottom right hand corner the address is what we got from tight vnc service down here so i'm going to hover over 192.168.0.106 and for the name of the computer normally i would use my money making device naming system uh, like this device number 70 but since this is a virtual machine on my mac laptop computer i'm just going to call it windows once the connection is created i do picture quality low i'm preferring speed here and everything else is just fine click connect and it's going to warn me about an unencrypted connection for the first time just swipe that to the left and say don't warn me ever because that really doesn't matter to me and remember password to it is just one in this case so here i am connected to this computer uh, using the internal network so this device is on the same network as the computer i am controlling if you're on an outside network you actually have to set up a vpn and say you're doing an open vpn you can download the credentials onto here open it up in open vpn's app connect to that VPN no matter where you are and use that same IP address we just did as long as you're connected to the VPN that's set up on your home router. So that's what makes me setting the password is one okay because I'm not actually forwarding this entire computer. I'm using a VPN that's set up on the router that this computer is on to connect to first and then through the configuration of that VPN being able to connect to this computer with its internal IP address. I can't show you how to set up a VPN on your router. It's different for everybody. So just Google around and figure that out based on your interface. Anyway, I hope this was helpful to you as the first remote access demo tutorial. Any other kinds of devices you have questions about for controlling Windows computers, you can check out the links in the description. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later with more of these and more money making videos. But in the meantime, have fun making money. Thank you for watching this video meant to help you make more money with smartphones and computers. Above me is a link to my website with a getting started series for all of you that are brand new to this. Any more specific questions can be directed to me at the contact page or on any of the community